Do you want to save money on your groceries? You are in the right place. Let me show you what we got this week for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for one person and what we're having for big better. Blech. What are we having for breakfast? Okay, guys, this is a new video. This is not going, this is going to kind of be meatless. Okay, we're not using, we're using the mushrooms as a veg, uh, protein. So anyway, I'm going to show you how we're going to do it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So the total for Walmart, I use Walmart. It was um, $13.93, but I couldn't find that poblano pepper because they sell it as a bag, and I didn't want the whole bag. And the lettuce, I'm going to show you the video. They were teeny tiny, and they were so expensive. So the poblano pepper cost me 77 cents, which I thought was kind of pricey, but I, I need it for a recipe. And lettuce, 198. So adding those two, my total was 16, 68. So we have extra for buying fruit. Buy more fruit. We're going to be eating salads, and I'm going to show you which ones. And I'm going to show you what we had left for last week that we're going to use for this one, which is actually only the pepperoni that we used to make pizzas like two weeks ago, I believe. So that's the only thing that we're gonna use extra from other weeks. But this is what we have for this week. Isn't that so cool? So cheap, guys, let's do it. I'm gonna show you how you're gonna make this small batch of really good muffins with spinach, cheese, eggs. Let me show you how we're gonna make them. Let me show you what we're gonna do use for this recipe. We need salt, oats from last week, a pinch only of baking soda, not much, cheese, onion, eggs, spinach. If I had jalapenos and vinegar, I will add it, but we didn't buy them, so I'm not adding them. This is gonna be a very simple, easy uh, breakfast that you will get plenty and you can freeze them and it's gonna be delish, okay? So I'm gonna start by cutting my onion and cutting it in a little pieces, my spinach. So let's do that. I'm going to add my onion and my spinach. I have four cups, around four handfuls, and I just crush it a little bit, cut it just a little bit. I'm preheating my oven at 350, and it's ready. I have a medium low heat. Um, whoopsie. I'm going to add salt and pepper at this time. I'm going to have them here for maybe like two minutes because I want my onion more. Uh, cooked but look at this <laughs> my spinach now it's nothing I'm going to use a third of a cup no a third of a piece of my cheese okay um, for this recipe and I'm just gonna cut it in small cubes maybe we're gonna blend them so it's not like but let's help the end, um, right? I have my blender here. I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna add three eggs. Okay. I need only a pinch of baking soda. I need 
a half a cup of oats and basically the oats are gonna do um are gonna do my um what is it called my flour i'm gonna add three tablespoons of oil okay any oil that you have and we're gonna blend this let's go i have my um muffins i have these plastic ones that i got at the dollar store it was a complete one and i just cut it because it was so weird but if you use it like this they're perfect so i like that um okay now here let me add what we blend and this is a small uh recipe okay you can get from six maybe seven from five to seven. And remember that I will have this recipe, write it down for you so you guys can just print it and have all the exact measurements. Okay. Now I'm going to add my um, spinach and onions. My oven, it's already preheated, okay? My oven is at 350 Fahrenheit already and I'm going to cook this for around 20 minutes, 25, okay? Mm. Ooh, smells really good. And if I had some jalapenos, I will add it, but I don't. So here they are. I'm gonna start adding them all the way to the top. Okay, between six and seven, I got six, right? Yes. And I'm going to take this to the oven. There you go. They still, of course, very hot. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here for a little bit because they're just out of the oven and they're very, very hot. So I will show you this in a minute. Ooh, ooh. beautiful let's wait for this to be a little less hot so I can show you the inside but uh, I mean mine's were done in 20 minutes but it depends your altitude where you live blah 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 your oven so okay let us wait for this to be a little more ha ah, yes okay and there you have it let me show you one from the inside what what they're a little they still a little warm but i want you guys to see it look at this look at this if you have some salsa there you have it really good very very good you can freeze them as well but you have six that you can divide it in two days right because that's what we're doing you can eat three one day, three the other, or maybe two, then you have for three. It's up to you. But these are so good. Easy recipe, a small recipe, a small batch. That's perfect, right? Oh, I was eating this delicious. It's like style, like banana bread, oats. We only used three ingredients. The oat, the walnuts, it was just an extra that I add. You don't have to. But let me show you how we're going to do it. Okay, this is what we need for our next breakfast. We're gonna use our oats, a banana, and an egg. The oats, I'm going to blend it so I can make it kind of like my um, my flour, okay? So I'm gonna do three tablespoons of my oats and I'm going to blend them so I can make them. Um, ooh, let's see if I can. I may have to blend a little more because I don't know if my blender, it will 
So I'm just gonna do a little more, but I am only gonna use, ah, oh, three. So let me blend this to make a flower. Okay, my, it's blended, my, oat, my oats. Now, I'm gonna grab my banana. Okay, and I'm going to smash it. Okay. These will be really good with um, chocolate chips if you have, or walnuts, almonds, pecans, you know, something like that that you want to have on your oatmeal. This is kind of like an oatmeal, I don't know. This is just like a very quick breakfast. I'm just gonna smash it. Okay, then I'm adding my egg. Okay, and then I'm going to add three tablespoons only of my oats. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, and I'm gonna mix it up. If you have some walnuts, pecans, uh, almonds is the time and let me go and see if I have some because I think this will be really good with some pecans I think I have walnuts I'm not sure let me go and see hold on uh -huh. so I'm just gonna crush them with my fingers so. but you don't have to add them okay I just like to have some crunch um, with it Okay. Oh, so good. Right, right, right. Of course, right. I'm gonna get my cake because guess what? We're adding this to the microwave. Uh, we're gonna do it for a minute and 30 seconds and then check if that's ready. Um, I've done this and it's ready in a minute but you know every microwave is different right so okay I'm gonna take it to the microwave let's go I'm telling you this is really good in a minute and 30 seconds you already have a healthy breakfast that I know everybody's gonna love it you can add chocolate chips if you want to if you have some or walnuts like I did but it's like bread how can I explain it I don't know you have to make it Okay, let's go to the next one. Let me show you. Okay, here's our next breakfast. What, what? This is delicious. Okay, this is what we need for our next breakfast. Very simple, very easy. Um, you may see it in, you have seen a similar like this, but I'm gonna show you a different way. We're gonna do it using the same ingredients. And that's the beauty of Mexican cooking, I should say, because we use the same ingredients for so many recipes um, and they all taste different, that's for sure. So I'm gonna dice, <laughs> I'm gonna dice, oh my gosh, now I'm laughing because that is so true. We use the same ingredients for enchiladas, tacos, you know, and but they taste different, that is, that is true, okay. Um, right now, these, it's perfect for two days or even more, right? Because we do, each recipe, we do it two times for two days. I'm only going to make for today what I'm going to have for breakfast today. I'm not going to double it this time. So I'm only going to make, so I'm not making the entire potatoes. I'm not making the entire tomato, or, you know. And I'm only going to use one egg, but here, hear me here. But you can use two if you want to, okay? We have enough eggs for you to make two if you need to. For me, one will be enough. And like I mentioned before, I like to do um, small squares, okay? So they can cook faster. So this is gonna be enough for me. Half of the potato, which is good because this is my other day. 
You can make all these together in one. Um, I'm just making one. Okay, let's take it to the stove. Oh no, wait. My gosh, I'm forgetting the onion. No, no, no. This gives a lot of flavor, what I'm talking about. So let me, let me slice some onion. One more, ah! I was gonna kill myself. Let's do it all, no, that's fine, okay. Remember that this is the time where you season your potatoes if you want them to have flavor. So okay, my potatoes and all these are done. I'm going to serve them. I'm going to pour all my vegetables in my plate. Okay, I take took them out. Look all this here. And if you have cheese, whoo! Right now, that will be the moment to put it on, but I don't, that's why. So I put some oil in here, and I'm going to do a sunny side up egg. A little bit of salt. Okay, I'm gonna get it out. And let's see, I'm gonna put it on top. And you can put your two eggs here if you want two eggs. And then, this is the last thing that I have on my salsa, but it, I think it's just perfect. What, what? This is a champion's breakfast. Yes or yes? And you guys, simple as that. Isn't this so good, so delicious? I hope you enjoyed it because, oh my gosh, I'm so ready to eat this. Delicious breakfast. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the thumbs up like um, and wait on Tuesday because on Tuesday I'm sharing my lunches and then Thursday I'm sharing my uh, dinners. And uh, check my videos here from the last week, one before, or I will leave them on the description below so you can have more ideas. And if I have the recipe, write it down, then I will leave the links for the recipe as well or my two websites that I share recipes in English. And see you on Tuesday. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.